Hello everyone, this is Wes from Resurrection Auto. I've got my 2007 Ford F-150 here and I'd like to calibrate the speedometer. I have oversized wheels and so the speedometer is not exactly correct when you're going down the road and want to get that cleaned up. And so this video is designed to show you how to do that on this model truck. Before we get started, I want to let you know that I am a Christian and so I shot this video first and foremost to let you uh, know how to fix your truck and get you on the road, but also to share with you what I believe. And so at the end of this video, I'll share a link with that. With that said, let's get started with this repair. All right, before we get started on the inside of the compartment or the cab, first thing we want to do is remove the negative battery cable because the instrument panel is, of course, electrically connected. So I've got that removed first. All right, I'm underneath the uh, driver's side here and you want to remove the two seven millimeter bolts here and then a little further down there to get started. All right, with the two bolts out, you can literally just pull this panel out. It just snaps at the top. And so we're gonna set this out of the way. The next thing we wanna do is to remove the two seven millimeter bolts here and right there. We're gonna remove this bezel on the top. So let's get those uh, out of the way. All right, the next thing we wanna do is lower the steering wheel with the tilt steering all the way down. And you're gonna reach in and pull this plastic housing out. It literally just snaps in, very easy to do. So just remove that plastic housing next. All right, this housing is held on just by plastic clips now that the bolts are removed. There's gonna be a clip behind here. There's one on the other side of the bezel, and then there's, I think, three underneath here. The whole housing is removed by pulling this back, not up, but back. And it may be helpful to kind of work these two loose first. Um, they will pop out. Be careful, you don't wanna crack your bezel, and so be patient. It will come out, but it can be fussy, especially if it's never been removed before. But this is now just pulled back and out of the way. Okay, on my truck, there is a dummy connector and wire harness just behind the left side of this panel that has to be unplugged. I suspect on you know higher end models, there's some more instrumentation here, but for mine, it's just a dummy panel. Either way, we're just gonna unplug that connector so we can get this uh, bezel completely removed. Okay, so with this now removed, there's that connector that was in my way. We're going to now remove the four seven millimeter bolts that are on the outside of the housing. One, two, three, four. There's one down here as well. Here's the other one I missed there. Okay, before I remove those though, I am gonna un disconnect the electrical connections. So these simply just, uh, the gray piece pulls to the side. There's a clip you push down, this swings to the side, the connector lifts out. There's two, I'm gonna go ahead and remove both of those and then remove those four bolts. Okay, so I've got this nice and loose. The last thing that I need to remove is the gear shift indicator. Um, and so you can see the cable here. I'm gonna reach up underneath the bottom here and there's a clip on each side that I'm gonna push. You can feel them. There's one here, there's another one there, and I'm gonna squeeze those together and it will slide out the bottom. Once I get it out, I'll just show you a picture so you can have a better idea of what that looks like and what you're after. Okay, and here's that shift indicator and the tabs that I was feeling of these guys right under the bottom. So I'm just squeezing that in, pulling down, and there's one on the other side right there as well. So it only took about five seconds to get it out. So let's take this instrument cluster inside. We're gonna do a little disassembly here, and we're gonna get this adjusted where it needs to be. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is remove this uh, clear um, face. And so on the edges are these tabs. They can simply be pulled out and uh, the glass will slide off the top, including the whole black housing there. Um, so just to be careful not to break them, but they're pretty easy to remove. Okay, so here's the instrument panel, and you can see where the needle is below the tin here. Okay, so the way this works is the speedometer is on a shaft, and the shaft has a stop at the very bottom, and it can be spun all the way over, and it has another stop right here. But the actual needle is just pressed on that shaft. So you can adjust exactly where this is. You can see my starting point is here. I'm gonna drive it all the way over because I need the speedometer to be a little further up because this is reading slow. So I'm gonna simply apply pressure to this until I move the needle 
in relationship to the shaft it's on. So that if it's been on there a long time, this can be you know quite a lot of pressure. You don't want to break the needle, of course. But nonetheless, I'm going to just tweak it so that when I come back around and I'm at my initial starting point, my needle is not here, but it should be like right there. So let me try to give that a, a shot and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so you can see now I'm at this stop here, but my needle is not so far down so that as the uh, speedometer begins to react to the speed of the vehicle, this should indicate a higher speed or actually now it should be a correct speed because it was lower before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this in the vehicle without the bezel. I'm going to put the connectors on and maybe just put a, maybe one or two bolts in. I'm going to use my GPS on my phone to validate that the speed is correct. Um, and if I need to, I'll make any other adjustments. But from that point, it's just a matter of reassembly. So let me get that in and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, got my speedometer nice and calibrated. Looks really sharp. And so it's time to put this truck back together and get it back on the road. Hey, I want to say thanks for watching. I shot this video so you could get your truck calibrated and I hope it works well for you. I also shot this video so you can check out Christianity. I'll put a link here at the end. Thanks for watching and God bless.